beautiful souls. I hope you're doing well. Today, I wish to honor someone special in my life, a very good friend of mine, also almost like a sister for the last four years. Her name is Christina Martinez, also called as Tina, and has been also called Disco Tina. Uh, not a name that she particularly uh, resounds with a lot. I think uh, Tina is something she resonates more. Um, the reason for why I wanted to offer um, honor Tina today is because she is doing an incredible, incredible job, her and her team of moderators, uh, moderating not only the different um, channels of the speakers we, you know, we follow and love their information, but also uh, moderators of the uh, galactic group groups that Tina has uh, started some time ago and which have now blossomed to about more than 40 groups on different different kind of topics and that really unite uh, a lot of star seeds and earth seeds and people on the spiritual journey or have had or were contactees or experiencers of any sort that you know find a little bit uh, that they're excluded or isolated in the reality in which we are on Terra and have found there in those groups an opportunity to link and share uh, with beautiful other souls. Those are souls who are often very sensitive and uh, it is a place that should be a haven and not a place of um, drama and uh, hate and division. And so the work of Tina and her team of moderators is really to try to bring to these groups uh, as much as possible because we're all human and all we do our best and we all have our tempers and things going on with it, within us. But they always try to keep as much as possible uh, the highest frequency on these groups and try to moderate if elements who are either self-serving self or that are, um, you know, have uh, hidden agendas or double-faced agendas, or um, just sim simple infiltrators played, uh, you know, paid by the major um, three-layer agencies trying to infiltrate different spiritual groups to bring discord and division. So I've known Tina as a good friend uh, four years ago, since the last four years, and I've seen her work. This lady works seven days a, a week um, 24 hours a day, almost. She barely sleeps. I mean, I, she's constantly moderating or helping people, uh, guiding people towards the groups, answering their questions, their queries. Um, she is extremely generous of her time and her energy. She is someone's work whom I, and a person I respect very much. She's extremely funny. And for that, she's been called Disco Tina, um, which is, a way to remind us how you know how incredibly funny she can be uh, but Tina is not just a funny person Tina is a person who is extremely extremely involved in the work she does and she does it with extreme care her and her team do a form of detective work that I've never seen before it's just incredible the amount of research they do to identify you know if some people are working, you know, showing double sides uh, or working for darker agencies and things like that. And they, they, they see it. They see it and they, with proof, because they picture, they take pictures of what they see with proofs, they're able to, you know, moderate in a way where they have proof about what they say. So they don't just out of their opinion and just because they like or don't like someone will, you know, make someone come out of a group it's always supported by visual and physical evidence uh, i've seen how they work and it's you know i have come to really trust their judgment on that because it's always backed up by evidence so these people this tina and her team are working behind the scene and they're not doing an easy and fun job because it's not the the fun role you know they're not getting praise for what they do because often you know they get a lot of and in, i know for tina she gets a lot of physical attacks um verbal abuse uh, verbal attacks psychic attacks physical attacks i mean in j6 she was physically attacked 
things like that. And you know, she is a person that deserve uh, to be, you know, honored for the incredible work she's doing her and her team. And I admire the courage and resilience with which she's able to go beyond these attacks and move on and, and just focus on the positive and try to just always try to find the best in people unless people, you know, worse to bring bring the worst in themselves um and she's she's very generous in that way and you know i know she always try to make sure that you know she doesn't take someone out of the group just out of fun it's because there's really good reasons for it in general um so you know um tina is not a person who goes in front of the camera a lot she's a bit camera shy i had the opportunity to interview her seven months ago and i will you can go in the description of this video to see the the interview that I did with Tina she's a bit camera shy and she's in a way she's in humility she's not one who wants to you know go in the front of things and and, and show herself uh, but she's doing incredible uh, work behind the scenes her and her team and I think it's really important that we acknowledge that amazing work she does uh, because you know um, it's not often enough recognized and uh, I think I thought today it would be a pleasure for me as a very good friend and almost sister to her to to bring um, to you know to people's consciousness that people are doing a lot of work behind the scene to help these groups this community we have to stay as high vibe as possible and we know we're going through difficult times these days there's a ton of infiltration a ton of self-serving people who are just trying to, you know, get their way into the spiritual and disclosure community. So it's not an easy job for them, for Tina and her team. Um, from now on, you know, I invite you all to call Tina, Tina, because Tina's first name is Christina and Tina, not Disco. <laughs> and she's a person, she's a person with feelings and she's doing a lot of work. And uh, I wished for this video to honor you know all she does and all she is uh, and you know all the high vibes she tries to bring with your her humor but also by trying to create a a frequency in the groups that as is as protective as possible of people who come here in the groups to share about their stories to share their vulnerable uh vulnerability and and, and difficult stories sometimes and they don't want to be mocked they don't want to be criticized they don't want to be humiliated and tina and her team are trying to, to do their best not to for this to to happen and have certain elements in the groups um trying to you know put problems um tina is is a beautiful soul she's funny she's generous she's extremely resilient from you know all the attacks she has received and continues to receive and now, Tina, I just have a message for you, a personal message saying that I and many people of the community invite you to also take time for Tina sometime, to, for you to rest, to take care of yourself, and to uh, you're surrounded by a beautiful team that supports you. And I think it's not said enough how much you're doing amazing work. And, you know, I invite you to um, care for Tina and give her <laughs> um lots of good vibes because she she you know she deserves it she she does a lot of work and she takes a lot of bs for it um you are invited for those who wish to share a positive comment and encouraging and loving comment because my channel is high frequencies and i don't tolerate any hate or any um humiliating or uh attacks i just simply ignore them and you know i just don't go there i don't, I don't even let them um take power over me or you know i just i just don't care <laughs> so um your comments won't even be really read or you know anything like that because you know i don't i don't i don't care for negative uh, vibrations so if people have positive and encouraging and loving uh frequencies to bring to tina and to her team of uh, moderators you're invited to uh, comment in the under the this video to offer to tina and her team uh some um you know some love a little bit of love and uh, comfort and uh high high frequency words which are much needed 
Um, and uh, that is it for today. Just wanted to honor her work and her team's work because it's really, really a tough job. I mean, I've, I've seen them at, at work and I can confirm that I would never be able to do a job like that. I would never be able to do that. First of all, because it's too much. It's so many hours of work. They do it. It's more than a full-time job. It's like it's like a 70 hour, 80 hour job. And it's, it's not, you know, you're getting a lot of heat, a lot of attacks. Uh, I'm too hypersensitive. I would not be able to deal with all this. So I, in recognition of that, I really honor you know what they do and who they are and what they you know the best they do in what they do so um i wish you a lovely day uh high frequencies and uh, have a lovely sunday and you know you're invited to bring high frequencies to this channel by um uh, offering a few words of kindness to tina and her whole team of uh of moderators have a lovely day take great care of yourself and much love to you tina and all the moderators bye <laughs>